What nobody tells you about ADHD treatment is that if you relied on high levels of anxiety to get stuff done before, when it gets treated sometimes, you can not do stuff because your brain has no idea how to do stuff without the adrenaline surge caused by last minute panic. Does anyone else with ADHD not seem to form habits? The self-help literature always says habits become second nature. You do not have to remind yourself to brush your teeth, right? But brushing my teeth is not automatic. It is a task I have to remember and choose every night. When you go outside at a party and see your fellow neurodivergents overstimulated and ready to leave. ADHD individuals getting really good at their job very quickly. The need to quit within six months because it is painfully boring. I love when you ask someone about a thing they know a lot about and they start with, okay, so because you know you are about to get a novel's worth of nerd stuff and it is going to be so delightful. Nothing ruins a person with ADHD's day like a 3 p.m. appointment. Hey man, sorry, I did not text you back for four months. I only look at my phone 23 hours a day. Saw a text and told myself I would reply later and forgot and now I have not spoken to my friends or family for seven months. Hope they are all doing okay. When I am fighting the urge to respond to two strangers having a conversation next to me. Thank you for using my preferred name and pronouns. I have already forgotten your dead name. Meditation is easy. Just sit and observe the voice in your head. The voice in my head. Neurotypicals. You need to make a phone call. Is that so hard? ADH dears. Well, no. And yes. Something I have been putting off for weeks that would not take longer than 15 minutes to complete. Me. I never actually get over any of my previous interests. They just lie low in my brain like a sleeper agent, waiting for the code word to activate and take over my entire personality for an undetermined amount of time. ADHD is funny because if I complain and moan the entire time, I am doing something it is easier than if I want to do it. Me. Hey, I like this desk. I wonder how much it is. Website. Call us for pricing. Me. You are dead to me. Is it 5 p.m.? Oh wow, time for breakfast, lunch, dinner? I am starving. How it feels like for ADHD people to listen to someone finish a sentence they already understood within the first few seconds. Getting in the shower. Being in the shower. Getting out of the shower. How much do you overthink? Me. My ADHD. How to have a conversation. Interrupt them. Trip over your words. Zone out. Get really excited about the topic and freak them out. Before I take a shower. I hate it in there. The wet world is a bad place. While in the shower. I remember now that this is a good place. It is the dry world that is the enemy. Little brother also ADHD. Did you know that by graduating college, we are in the top 5% of ADHDers? Little brother. Also, it cuts our life expectancy by 13 years. You start up a game. You wait two minutes for it to load. You get to the menu. You suddenly lose all interest in playing. Me trying to keep up with a neurotypical amount of responsibilities and relationships. Getting an early diagnosis and medication. Having mild manageable symptoms. Support from family, friends, teachers or employers. Telling everyone ADHD is a superpower. Over explaining, adding unnecessary details to avoid being misunderstood. ADHDers. Autistics. If God wanted me to only have one boyfriend, then why did he give me three holes in ADHD? He does not look autistic. My apologies. Luke, would you mind doing an autism for the lady, please? How am I supposed to concentrate when I do not wish to and there are no immediate rewards? Doing what I need to do. Doing what I want to do. Me, somehow doing neither. Me forcing myself to enjoy a game after I paid $40 for it. When someone tries to convince you that your ADHD is a superpower, it is so dumb, it is so dumb, it is brilliant. No. It is just dumb. Gaslighting me does not work because I already do not trust my memory. And I do not care what actually happened. The anti-work community liking me for quiet quitting. Me who really wants to work hard but struggles with ADHD. Spends months building up a new daily routine. Forgets one day. Never does it ever again. Showering before a haircut so you do not stink. Showering after a haircut to get rid of the prickly hairs. Me taking my morning nap after my breakfast of caffeine and pharmaceutical amphetamines. When my ADHD hyperfocus kicks in, behold, my floor. Having a bad brain day. Having a bad brain day on a day with perfect weather. Because on top of the bad brain day, you also did not have the motivation to go outside even though, you know, it would help. Especially because it is such a beautiful day. 
So on top of already feeling like the day was wasted because you could not do anything, you feel like it was doubly wasted because it was so beautiful outside and all you did to enjoy the weather was stand on your balcony for five seconds. Showering because it is expected. Showering to get rid of excess stink, stick, and slick. You do not really have ADHD, do you? What symptoms do you even have? Always fidgeting, always disorganized, easily distracted, cannot finish tasks before starting new ones, losing and forgetting everything, emotional dysregulation. After all, why not? Why should not I open another tab? Me realizing why I do something. So that was a symptom. ADHD is, I need a shower, but I need to exercise so I won't take a shower yet. But I need to shower to feel motivated enough to exercise. But I need to exercise to get energy to shower. But I can't shower yet if I'm about to exercise. Just picking a thing to do is so hard. My ADHD brain during the day. My ADHD brain at night. Oh no, I simply do not have time for a 30 minute workout today. I said to myself as I proceeded to spend the next two hours watching videos of turtles eating strawberries. When I randomly remember one of my shirts I haven't seen in a while. Me cleaning up my girlfriend's household. Me trying to clean up my own household. Buy it. Research other options until you fall asleep. Achieve a goal, daydream it, me with ADHD. When your ADHD brain runs out of dopamine halfway through the latest hyperfocus project, them. Doing it that way won't work. ADHD is after it works. Everyone talking about forgetting to eat. Me who keeps on eating since it's the only source of comfort in my life. How the duck that lil voice in my head know all of the lyrics when I don't. Are you ever telling a story and halfway through you're like, Jesus, will I ever shut up? When you're listening to someone speak and you can feel yourself zoning out. Schools be like, drugs are bad. Then prescribe a six-year-old Adderall for not wanting to sit in the same spot for eight hours. Sometimes I'm late, just because I stay like this for a long time. Me waking up after getting two hours of sleep. Me waking up after getting 12 hours of sleep. Knowing everything about one subject. Eight H dears. Knowing just enough about almost everything to be able to have conversations using patterns and logic. Falling asleep because you drank too much coffee. Coworker. Looks like someone could use a coffee. Sometimes people ask me how I know all the random shit I know with varying levels of politeness and belief in its veracity. And all I got is I have ADHD, an internet connection, really good research skills, and zero self-regulatory mechanisms. When you ask your boss for structure, but then hate being told what to do. ADHD is being able to clean someone else's house when they need help. But staring at your own room for 15 hours, trying to figure out how to get the executive functioning to clean. Nobody. ADHD people when they have something scheduled later in the day. Okay, I worked really hard today on the important thing we already had going on, right? On the important thing, right? Looking better, thanks Vivansa after struggling with weight loss. Rapidly approaching underweight. Me explaining time blindness to my mom. My mom who never had a problem with time management. This broke me. ADHDers talking about their brain in the third person as if it is someone else because we genuinely feel we are not in control of it. When you have great pattern recognition because of ADHD, so your friends start thinking you are psychic. My favorite ADHD gift is the confidence that I can do just about anything if I find it interesting enough. Does anybody else with ADHD struggle with over-inspiration? Like you get inspired to do so many things at once. And then when you realize that you cannot do any of those things at the same time, you lose inspiration. Someone. I love your personality. Me. Bro, thanks. It is a disorder actually. Gonna give my dog a treat because he is a very good boy. Got so distracted by talking to him that I ate it myself. When my new psych med prescriber lets me see if stimulants would actually help me, even though I have an anxiety disorder, previous prescribers would not, and it immediately calms me down and helps me function better. Unlimited power. Washing your hair. Spending 30 minutes to find a hairdo that hides the greasiness of your hair. Brain came up with a new fidget to do constantly. It is pulling out nose hairs and it hurts a lot. Starts playing on phone during a show. Misses important scene. Rewinds way too far by mistake. Gets back on phone while waiting for the scene. Misses the scene again. Me taking a depression nap. The responsibilities I am ignoring. My ADHD ass agreeing to do a project that I'm actually really interested in. Realizing there is no deadline. Me googling my ADHD impact on memory. All the links being purple. Waking up at a decent hour. 
have breakfast and leave for work without being late, waking up an hour and a half before, and getting to the place only having coffee. Sometimes I am late because I sit like this for a long time. Hobbies I miss but am too overwhelmed or tired to try and enjoy. A never-ending list of shit I do not want to do that needs taking care of. Me re-watching another movie I have seen a hundred times. When you take new ADHD meds and suddenly become extremely sensitive to caffeine for the first time in your life. When ADHD people say their brain is faster than a neurotypical, is this is what they mean. In 1953, due to high speed, the F-11 fighter shot itself because it was faster than its own bullet. When someone starts talking about stuff you researched to death, but their interpretation is way off, but you have no time or emotional energy to respond. Coming back to find you, have locked your keys in the car, but you also forgot to roll up the windows. Call me if you need anything. Also me. Finally prescribed highly addictive ADHD medication. Jump through endless hoops to get my highly addictive ADHD medication. Constantly forget to take my highly addictive ADHD medication. Constantly forget to take my highly addictive ADHD medication. Moments before an adhd -er has a rage outburst. My ADHD picking up sounds that no one else in my family could hear. So tell me more about yourself. Me, trying to remember who I am. Me, anxiety about phone calls. Do not disturb setting. Someone, why do not you treat your ADHD? It is not that serious, bro. Also, me trying to understand a text. Your mom tried raising you normal like you did not have ADHD and tried to iron it out, scrolling through ADHD memes to learn about it not knowing what it meant. Start to realize most things you did wrong in your childhood were ADHD and were not your fault. You realize you were trying to mask your entire childhood to seem normal, and now you do not know who you are. I will do things when I am less tired. Never becomes less tired? Oh no. I have never seen anything more accurate in my life. ADHD dears when they finally get out of bed. We are already behind schedule. Someone described ADHD as being chronically overwhelmed. And I have never heard a more accurate way to describe how ADHD feels. That is a good idea. I should write down before I forget. Is literally distracted for a few seconds. And it is gone. My brain processing the thousands of background noises going on around me. My brain processing words when someone is talking to me. Having the TV volume as an odd number. Having the TV volume as an even number. Having the TV volume as a multiple of five. After all, why not? Why should not I fix it? Executive dysfunction is not just for things you do not want to do. I have been meaning to go get ice cream for like an hour now. This is too real though. I spent two hours the other night intending to watch TV and never did it. This is the difference between procrastination and executive dysfunction. Me trying to remember what I heard or said just moments ago. When you read a whole page, but then realize you forgot to understand. When you have to keep reading the same paragraph because you cannot focus. I am talking to someone with ADHD. I am going to interrupt them before they can talk. Okay, now that I am done talking, I want to hear what they were going to say earlier. What do you mean you forgot? When my hyperfixation ends and I have to get rid of the specific YouTube, Twitch, and Discords I became a fan of. The neurodivergent experience is talking about your brain as if it is a separate entity from yourself. Make it a habit is the big lie for fixing ADHD problems. Why is your ADHD only affecting you now? Incomplete projects, thousands spent on hobbies I no longer have, abandoned college and university courses, addictions, using piles as organization, horrific executive dysfunction. When you break one of the unwritten, neurotypical social rules, but do not even realize, ADHD under normal circumstances. ADHD in times of crisis. ADHD people in anyone's home but their own. People with ADHD be like, I know a spot, and then start Googling who the leader of Uruguay was in 1978. Me multiple times a day. I am trying to. What do you call it? What you look like should not matter. It is what is on the inside. Me, doing homework, doing something else. My ADHD. I do not procrastinate. I intentionally wait until the last minute because then I will be older and therefore wiser. ADHDers that take on life without medication. Well, first of all, with caffeine and anger. All things are possible, so jot that down. Eating a balanced diet of varying textures, flavors, and nutritional values. Peanuts in any form. I am writing an email as the deadline is 20 minutes away. Done. 
Let me check if it sounds offensive. Forgot the meaning of every word I wrote in the email suddenly. Now I am Googling every single word. YouTube video. Same video at 2x speed. What ADHD or autistic people see. What neurotypicals see. Ultimate random motivation. Fall asleep. My ADHD at 3 a.m. After all these years. Autism. ADHD. Social anxiety. Finally, I have them all. ADHD people working on anything other than the thing they should be working on. This person probably has to study for finals. Me dissociating in the middle of a conversation. ADHDers. Knowing everything about one subject. Knowing just enough about almost everything to be able to have conversations using patterns and logic. Someone giving me verbal instructions. My brain. Viewing ADHD as an insurmountable obstacle and giving up on finding ways to improve my life. Finding a good therapist, getting on the right meds, and or making lifestyle changes so I can live my best ADHD life. Me being excited to start taking Adderall because my neurotypical mother and brother who took it recreationally said it would give me a lot more energy and I would be more productive. Started taking it, and now I am so tired every day that sometimes I do not even have the energy to do dishes. Imagine falling in love with someone just to find out they watch Netflix with subtitles. I am convinced people who do not like subtitles cannot read fast. ADHD is so funny. It is like being possessed, but with myself. Me, desperately, can we please get something done? My inner demon, who is also me. If you like piña colada, ADHD. Needing constant reminders about tasks. Hating being told what to do. Your meds are a controlled substance due to being addictive. Me who just missed a day cuss, I forgot again. I feel exhausted. I feel like butter scraped over too much bread. Losing something because you put it somewhere weird. Losing something because for once you put it in the proper place, where you never normally put it. And it never occurred to you that it might actually be there. Me on Ritalin. Expectation. Reality. My web design teacher when my ADHD brain won't remember everything he tells me. My dentist telling me my teeth look great and that I must be doing a great job brushing. Me. How lazy are you? Me. I figured out you don't actually have to assembly these things. My college's ADHD accommodations? None for homework. Whoa. This is worthless. Young boys with ADHD. Psychiatrists. Girls with ADHD. Adults with ADHD. Do you ever leave a social situation and you are just like, hmm, that was not my best work. Choose one. Fly. Read minds. Invisibility. Dopamine. Prep time. 15 minutes. Cook time. 10 minutes. Chill time. 30 minutes. Total time. 55 minutes. So that was a fucking lie. When you start cleaning but get distracted by all the cool stuff you find. Just completed a 3 minute task I put off for 4 months. Everyone clap. When I burn out of my hyperfixation and nothing else fills the gap except depression. Really wish I could change my coping strategies to stress cleaning and exercise, but unfortunately God gifted me with binge eating and executive dysfunction. Me the minute my ADHD meds wear off. Me after noticing a slight change in someone's energy towards me. ADHDers that take on life without medication. Well, first of all, with caffeine and anger, all things are possible, so jot that down. I just read a quote that said that dating someone with ADHD is like microdosing Wikipedia. And I am dead now. You are really good at math, so you try to answer and ask a lot of questions. Your teacher is visibly annoyed when you raise your hand. You will never raise your hand again in her class. Watch from my watch later list. Add videos to my watch later list. Me. Mind readers trying to read people with ADHD be like, Oh, that bird flew by. I wish I do not trip. Damn, now I just got that joke from six years ago. Kind of hungry right now. Neurotypicals on Adderall. I painted my room in two hours and did my essay in one hour. Me on Adderall. I made breakfast instead of eating peanut butter from the jar. When you are trying to remember what you just remembered four seconds ago. Me. Completes move to new place. Unpacks everything. Changes address with the government and credit card company and has two panic attacks all in 48 hours. Also, my ADHD and generalized anxiety disorder, but afterwards. My stomach when my meds are active. My stomach when my meds wear off. Concentra Doctor $120 plus. Save money and try Adderall. Suffer. Suffer. Why the fuck did we let morning people set the world is operating schedule? They did it while we were sleeping. Leave house in a panic at 7.55 for an 8 o'clock class with a 20 minute drive. Relieved because I only got there 10 minutes late. 
Class actually started at 9 and I am 50 minutes earlier because I wrote it down wrong. Class actually started at 9 and I am 50 minutes earlier because I wrote it down wrong.